right, so now we're going to move into some impingement tests for the hip, uh, or at least that's what they're being sold as. Either way, I'm trying to look for some sort of pinching uh, sensation in the groin for the next test or some lateral pain. This test is going to be the fader or fadir test, which is flexion, adduction, and internal rotation. And it's going to be a combination of those movements. So bringing that person into a flex position, you're going to introduce that internal rotation and then adduct over, looking again for the symptoms in those two points or two areas that I described before. Now this is extremely, um, extremely questionable whether or not this is going to hit just a specific part of the labrum. Uh, we also have to keep in mind that um, that labrum, for the most part, goes all the way around except for the inferior portion of the acetabulum. So you can start low and kind of work around that labrum a little bit. And this is very similar to a, a like a scour. However, I'm not adding a compressive load to it. So. Ideally, if you go based off of the pure um, definition, you're going to do flexion, adduction, internal rotation. Uh, but you can do a little bit of a loop just following that joint around. Again, looking for the symptoms to come on. Now, since we already discussed the scour, the scour is going to be very similar. You're just going to load the joint. So I'm providing an axial compression to the knee as I drive this knee towards the opposite shoulder. And then at the very end, I can get a little bit more internal rotation and adduction to finish that test. And this is part, uh, this last one is part of a clinical prediction rule that we'll go over in a, a different video.